Hello, everybody. My name is Dan Defying, and welcome to Firewatch. We're playing something a little different today. Lately, I've been playing a lot of games that are quite lengthy and that are scary and quite difficult. So I decided maybe we should change the pace a little, a little bit and try something different. So I have not played Firewatch before. I've watched Manny play a little bit back when it first came out, I believe in 2016. And that's about it. All I know is that it's not a long game, but it's supposed to be, it's supposed to have a really nice story to it. It's supposed to be beautiful. So let's dive right on in. New game, please. Campo Santo presents. In cooperation with Panic Inc. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's, so what's your, you know, major, or you, you're pretty. Oh. Let's go with this one. You slur the word major, and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? <laughs> Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurts your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Oh. Oh. Backpack. Ooh, that camera sensitivity, we might need to adjust that one. No worries, though. The music is very lovely, by the way. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just above anywhere, just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh, okay, so the beagle or the shepherd? Pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Let's go, let's get the beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Should I have brought a tissue box? I wonder. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. One day, why rush? Wow. Um, I mean, that does sound pretty good. 
In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Oh wow. I really like the music. It's emotional as hell. Thoroughfare Trailhead? Okay, uh, consume. No fireworks. Do not forget to check in. Okay, I don't know if there's too much I can do. I can't jump. Can't run. I think I'm just walking. No worries then. This looks like the long dark actually. Just without the snow. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Ooh, you ignore her or you get mad. Oh, um... Let's get mad. Oh, that's mean. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. Oh. That's terrible. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man, or you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Do the Victoria's Secret model one, that's more funny. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. I guess sunset? Sunset or sunrise? Maybe sunset. Gorgeous. Two forks, fire look at. Ah, yeah? Tutorial. Oh, that's lovely. That's beautiful. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. B b b buck d d dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. I think we better beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get way laid back by work. Way laid by work, sorry. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. Oh my god. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. This is... These decisions are already getting very hard. This whole intro is just reminding me of... Me and my husband, actually. Not that I've ever called him an asshole. Just to be clear. You ask her if she'll, if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode, 
She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You see that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Let's say talk to someone about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. I should have brought a box of tissues. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. <laughs> Secret angel. Nice. So pretty. <laughs> Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because she gets it in less... Because he gets less... Oh my god, I can't even sentence. That it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and you and your unborn children little idiots other days you get a stranger she pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in australia to visit her for a while your best friends come by with little things to brighten the day she gets worse 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility or you're determined to take care of her by herself. That is so hard. Oh, my heart. <sighs> yeah, I can feel my heart just being crushed. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide Excuse me. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you, if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by. Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. 
You take it. <sighs> Enter the lookout tower. Oh my god. Yeah, I should have brought out a, t a tissue box. Oh my god. <sighs> There's a big lump in my throat because I'm just like trying not to cry. <laughs> oh my god, that was unreal. That was just the intro. It's been 15 minutes. <sighs> yeah, this looks like the long dark. Aesthetically, I think it is. It's beautiful. Turn on the power. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh. Hold shift to activate the radio. Oh. Okay. Yep. Um, like uh, that. Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you've killed three ex-husbands. Oh, we were on timer. Um... That one. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can Sounds speed. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Fire watch. Oh my god, that intro. That hurt. That really hurt. Oh my god. Good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Y you can see me? Answer radio call? Uh, oh, I'm playing with my wedding ring. Uh, desk lamp. Huh. Hide code. There's a raccoon. <laughs> there's a picture of a raccoon. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Mm-hmm. Uh, map. Ah, oh, okay. Yep, okay. gotcha. I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Um, NT's the compass. Oh, fucking fireworks? Uh, I already forgot which direction she told me to look. <laughs> um. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Yeah, I'm just learning the controls. I already forgot which direction she told me to look. Um, lower compass. Fireworks here. Seriously, are you seeing this? Sure. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. There we go. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Oh, okay. I kick the shit out of them. Can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into discipline. Um. Do you think you can handle that? Uh, 
Sure. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Oh, oh that's very secure. Secure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm loving all these multiple dialogue options. Okay, so that was to the west. Is there anything else I need to look at? Do I need to look at... Okay, oil soap. <laughs> well, it does look very cozy. Supplies. Bleach. Um, okay, well, let's just do what she says, I suppose. Do I need to take my backpack? Oh, you're gonna take it? I might need to fiddle with the... The settings. I think there's. Is there a motion blur? Looks like there might be motion blur. Yeah, give me two seconds. I'm just gonna change some things. All right, we'll see how that goes. I just did like a little change. Cool, cool, cool. So, since this is not a particularly long game, my plan is to finish this up in one or two sittings. So that's the wheel. Okay, find rope in NFS cash box 306. You got it. I still might need to put all the settings. This is a little choppy, but it's okay. Uh, well, two, four, oh god. Um, I'm great at this. Okay, um, I'll try my best. Oh god. I guess I should have figured I'd have to look at a map. <laughs> Am I the one... No, I'll just go. She didn't say that the box would be on the way, right? Yeah. I have a few short games that I want to play. And I want to just hammer them out in like one or two sittings, depending on how long they are. Um, we'll just see how we go. So I thought, okay, let's start with Firewatch. So now this one's a pretty good one. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm you don't wanna- you can just walk around it if you like. There you go. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'm actually walking the right way. Maybe we can lower the map. Oh, cool. There's a box. The oh, horse was like a bear. Alright, uh, found it! So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Uh, you said one, two, three, four, right? Naughty. I like the sound effects when you put the code in. Very cool. Oh, copy information? Cool, a note. Um, I haven't I actually read the note yet. Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Armless, but yeah, one of those you know fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo, which is kind of what the job attracts. Right. I should actually look at it. Uh, Q to read it. Okay. 7786 Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park. Let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Okay. Pan cone. It's a pan cone. Maybe throw it away. Get all the bar. Do you want to talk about the granola bar? People just stuff these things with old food. That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. You sh are you sure? Bears are pretty strong. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Okay. Um. Do you want to eat it? <laughs> eat it? You scared me? Uh, okay. Hopefully that was, that was good. Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. I got a rope. All right, um, take the compass out. Hmm, let's try this one. 
Oh, I can hear the fireworks still going off. God, that intro sequence was nuts. Toggle? You have to toggle. Oh, that's weird. A toggle. Why is it not shift? It's always shift in video games. Anyway, that's all right. I'll get used to it. Yeah, that whole intro. God, what an emotional roller coaster. It reminded me of me and my husband. Really? Because we have to do the, the long distance thing for a while. <laughs> and the whole, oh my god, the early onset dementia, that is terrible. That's so horrendous. At 41, um, I actually have a family member who has that. Um, I think it happened in his 60s. And it just broke my heart and he has to have 24 hour care too. And he just... Yeah, it's just really, really sad. It's horrendous. It's terrible. So, oh my heart. Oh, I'm pressing shift to run, but I'm like, nope, it's, it's R. Okay, rope hook. All right, uh, oh, what's with the eyeball? Shale slide, it's steep, attach rope to hook do i need to oh. uh, this shale slide is steep how do you expect me to get down this i don't remember it being that bad it's not even named on our topos excuse me <laughs> call the widow maker <laughs> go with widow maker. come on it's really not that bad it's a 50 foot cliff made of rocks that look like knives they just look like knives, okay? Plus, there's already a Widowmaker on the backside of Carter Mountain. It would be confusing. That's fair. Uh, can I not attach rope to... Uh, uh, do I need to, like, walk... Oh, I have to walk around, sorry. Hmm. Where the f just looking at the capture. I might need to... Um, hang on, give me two seconds. I'm just noticing that um, the capture was a little choppy. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. All right, uh, sure, this will go well. That looks better. Oh, it's not so bad. We probably just slid down. He's fine. Uh, oh, we're good. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Widowmaker got the best of me. What exactly happened? <laughs> my rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I Just my I'm pride. Not. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay, I guess you need like another rope. I'm not gonna slide down that in case I die. I know, can you die in this game? That'd be something. Oh, this is so pretty. Mm hmm. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. This is just making me want to play The Long Dark again. I've never played the campaign for The Long Dark. I just. I just do survival mode, because that's just what I like to do. Like doing my own thing. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. No, they even left the fire going. At least put it out properly. At least I keep pressing R to run. Some backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. I'm glad there's a bunch of swearing in this. Whiskey. Like half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Mm-hmm. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? I'm pretty sure they're just assholes. Um, do you want to stomp it? Oh. Okay. Uh, I put it out. I put out their fire. Man, I would have named that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. Uh-huh. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. 
Uh, well, confiscate them. Okay. Uh, inspect. Ro. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I could like break my wrist. Um, confiscate. Hold E. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Um, oh, clean up. Do you, do you actually want me to? What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold musqua light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though. That's for sure. Where am I putting all of this? Irish. Save for later. Okay, hang on. I'll, I'll clean up the place. I still keep pressing shift to run, though. Oh, lordy. I'll clean it up. I don't know where I'm putting it. In my pocket? Maybe I've got a trash bag. I don't know why I'm doing this for a bunch of ingrates. <laughs> uh, maybe I get an achievement for cleaning and cleaning everything. Not that I'll ever see the achievement because I haven't turned off. Because notifications are distracting. Can I do anything with the, can I do anything with the backpacks? No. So maybe I could steal their crap. Can I? No, I can't jump. Okay. Uh oh. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Can I just take their clothes? That'll teach them a lesson. Oh dear. Um, it's a bra. Found <laughs> a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. I'll try. <laughs> no promises. Uh, uh, there are uh, panties. <laughs> what? Panties. I don't want to say that word again. Why? Cause you're twelve. <laughs> yeah, he's. Oh, I don't think we should pick that up. Put, put it down. Put it down. No, no, no. Don't, don't pick that up. We shouldn't touch that. That's... Mm, mm -mm. You don't know where that's been. Oh, okay. There are a couple of girls? There's a... Uh, yes? Oh, hang on. I was going to scratch my nose. Uh, <laughs> there are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but they... <laughs> You know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Yeah. Maybe let's just give them, like, plenty of notice that, like, we're here. It's like, hey, I know you're naked. You guys are fucking around. Uh, found there they are. The lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Uh-oh. <laughs> Boy, enjoy dealing with that. All right. Coming in hot. Full stereo! Oh, hey! What's that <laughs> Seriously, it was expensive! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please <laughs> put it down! We won't light anymore! <laughs> You're the ones who are naked! Uh, you gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. Chelsea, what? He's just a loser out in the woods. I mean, he's brody. Why do guys think it's you? <laughs> Light another firework, and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, fuck you! You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. Wow. I was, oh, I thought so long and hard about, oh, should I throw the boo box in the water? And as soon as that girl was being a bitch, I'm like, yeah, let's just do it. Oh, uh, find a way back okay. to two forks. Uh, yeah, swimmingly. Yeah, I got, got a bit a hot. hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. No, no worries. All right. Uh. 
Which way am I going? <laughs> uh, oh, that's me on the map. Yeah, that looks right. I think I just follow the river and I'm, I'm good. I'm gooch. <laughs> oh, that was really funny. <laughs> it's like, should I do it? Should I be the better man and not throw their crap into the water? <laughs> no. Fuck him. Oh, I'm glad this game is funny as well. We need it after that intro. Mm -hmm. Well, quite frankly, they can just build me for the boom box anyways. That's right, it's toggle run, so that's weird. That's a weird one. No, I still press shift by habit. Get used to it. Wow. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about... Uh, while you're out here and stuff. It's all right. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. That's fine. Well, next time you have a drink, we should drink together. Maybe. Yeah, I wonder how much exploring there is in this game. I don't know how much freedom you have to just do whatever the hell you want. I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, Storm. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got all the walkie-talkie stuff, north. though. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I'll try. Uh, yeah. yeah I'm not sure I have a lot of choice <laughs> in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Oh, she does puns. Love it. Oof. joke did not spark your sense of humor. Oh. Uh. <laughs> not enjoying our current conversation? Keep it coming. Oh my god, lady. <laughs> the arc of our budding friendship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How exactly are you in charge? Oh, Henry, that's a good one. Yay. Satisfied? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. I, I, I freaking love jokes like that. I make them all the time to my husband, and he freaking hates it. He always does like the... <sighs> uh, uh, apparently, I, I can't count. Can we, can we go back? Hang on, go back. <laughs> Hang on, wait, wait, wait. How do I... How do I... I got exit it. It's not letting me go back. Um, yes, 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 yes. Show me what you got. Oh, oh. Uh, copy information. Bear tooth point. Uh, there's a horn. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. Ah, uh, flashlight. In the boxes? Why is that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Oh. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Okay, I'll take it. Um... Oh, can I like- hang on, how far can I throw things? Because you can hold down the button. Eh... That's alright. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, oh, there's a cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? <laughs> Is that really what it's called? <laughs> but in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Should I? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Oh. Hello! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. This 
this cave is gated off. Oh, it needs a key. It stops spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Alright, uh, maybe we'll find it later. Find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. <laughs> oh, sorry, Hank. Mm-hmm. All right, we're back to the lookout. All right, maybe we'll find a key later. Okay. Oh, it got dark pretty fast. Um, There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Whoa. Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Henry, there's, there's something I, something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. <laughs> thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, Jeez, yeah, be in worried. The in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. It's like please don't be a horror game. I wanted to take a break from horror games. Oh lordy. Oh that well that was still kinda creepy though. I wonder who that was. Or maybe we're going crazy. Huh. Uh, okay. I guess I should look at the map. Hmm. Uh, where am I going? This way? Um. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll make my own adventure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I talked a bit about this before, but ideally I want to try and finish this game in one or two sittings, so I haven't decided if I'll make one gigantic video or maybe two long videos that are about maybe two hours each, we'll see. I just, I'm doing this because I just want to do something different. I want to try something different. You know, I've got a lot of short games in my Steam library that I'd really love to tackle and I just want to like get them all done in one day. Keep YouTube fresh as well. Oh, did I just teleport? What the hell? So yeah, bit of an experiment today. Hello, I'm going the right way too. Trail sign closed? It's all good. Okay, we're back. Uh, oh, that's a generator. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. Mm-hmm. What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. I do. Mm-hmm. Um. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom. You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Okay. Uh, too much information. Use. Um. No, and I'm good. Close the door. Last thing you want is like a an animal getting inside. <laughs> Oh. Uh-oh. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, my lordy. Okay. Oh, I'll bring it back up. Uh-oh. Oh god, please don't let the creepy guy be in here. Oh. Now oh, hang on, I saw that. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Oh boy. There's glass everywhere. 
I mean, I don't think it was the, the girls. Like, they were, like, still swimming, like, naked in the lake. Like, there's no way they could have got here before I did. Uh-oh. A lot of broken glass. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Uh... Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Oh. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? <laughs> I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Lordy. Oh, day two. I don't know how many days of being a firewatch guy. I don't know. Wake up. I'm awake. Look, there's that bottle of whiskey. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. Oh god, always with the talking. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Oh. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, okay. I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Uh, it's Henry. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, Not no. really. <laughs> All right. Huh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Death strikes at two? Huh. Yeah, you can, you can put it back. Uh, okay, you said go back to the cave. Oh, but there's so many cool things to look at. <laughs> Put it back. Alright, um, if there's nothing else. I was just looking at the picture of Julia before. Oh. This dude's pretty cute too, he looks like a bear. Henry. Alrighty. Uh, let's do it! Also, I don't know if there's like, collectibles. Or anything in the game. I have no idea. Um, not really one. Oh, that's her. Huh. You wake up pretty early then, huh? That's cool. As soon as the sun comes up, Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. <laughs> mm hmm. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. <laughs> uh huh. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Okay. I know I came from where the outhouse was, so I'll go that way. Okay, survey so communication lines north of the canyon. Uh, uh, uh. Alrighty, I can do this. Let's go north. Hopefully, if I like end up walking the wrong the wrong way, Delilah can tell me off. <laughs> there you go. Uh, oh no, I'm not just looking at her tower. That's okay. No, I'm still pressing shift. That's naughty. Press R. I don't think I've ever played a game where the button to run was R. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I've had a control before. 
but not not our. It's unusual. At least our dude is good at jogging. Yeah, this is really where we were before. Oh, it's all misty. Spooky. I didn't see that one of the tags for this game describe described it as a mystery. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh. Ooh. Maybe let's talk about Julia. You just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well, but you're taking a little break, or we're. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. That's even Echo when he speaks. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why have you? Huh? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Delilah, I can hear you. Uh oh. You? I said I could. Wait, are you talking about All right. me? I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Who are you talking to? Oh my god. Hey, hey sorry lady. About that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Um, oh my gosh. Um. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What What was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call oh. me if it's important. Oh, okay. She's pissed. Delilah stepped away. She's annoyed. Oh, okay. Maybe my choices do matter in this game. I actually didn't know that, so... Okay, so I guess I can't talk to her right now. Uh, oh wow. Okay, okay, she, she was pissed, so. Alright, well, I'm supposed to be going north, so let's go north. Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll try to be more careful. I mean, we did try calling out to her, just saying. I feel really bad now. <laughs> oh, sounds like she was a bit disappointed when she learned about Julia, though. Maybe she likes us. But it's so complicated. I don't know what I would do in this dude's situation. If something like that happened to my partner. That's rough. Uh, Paul. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay, dokie. Uh, no, no, R. Okay. Uh, hmm. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. There's a note in here. Uh, read. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, how do you pronounce this? She said, like, Shoshone, Shoshone or Shoshone? I'm not sure. Refrain. I'm headed off to all Shoshone. Well, the birds and the bees won't know me. We're men, and the war don't exist no more. And there ain't no gals to keep no score. I'm taking off for the woods, to a place where there ain't no shoals. Shoals? Don't need no books. I'll ponder the ponder... Ponderosis? Don't need no lady. I'll marry the mariposis. I can't waste no time in getting there. I'll do eighty down, eighty without a prayer. Don't need no gal, I'll spruce up for the spruces. Don't need no pal, I'll change my mood for the mooses. 
If you're wondering where's my ass been, it's been cavorting with the aspens. Don't need no grass, I'll get altered among the alders. Don't need no mass, I'll grovel before the boulders. I'm headed off to El Shoshone, where the elk and the owls won't know me. For there ain't no judges to whom I gotta plea, because I can be me in El Shoshone. Okay. Okay, I guess that was a, a song. Um, I found an old notepad of, uh, I guess, songs. Someone was writing a song called... Oh, old did I not Shoshone. pick up the other note? Oh, well. Shoshone, where Shoshone. the sky is blue and the teens are nude. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's just like that, except about ten times more depressing. <laughs> uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm in the right area? Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. Okay, we'll just follow the wires then. Sure thing, sure thing. Oh, it does go pretty far. Oh, lordy. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that other note, I I didn't realize I could just take it. That's all right. I'll try to be more careful. Because it doesn't matter too much as long as we read it. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, there's a... Okay. Uh, you don't want to... Hang on. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing there. Oh god. That one is flailing a bit. That wire. I'll see if I can walk around. There was somewhere where I could climb as well. I just wanted to see if I can open the box. That was here? Yeah. Open. Open. Alright. One. <laughs> Two. Okay. Uh, copy the information again. Thank you. All right. Uh, another note. Let's do this one. Dave, seven thirty eighty six. Hey yo, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students. But I guess not. I don't- oh. No, oh, excuse me. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, wrong's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later, Ron. I wonder if these are like other fire watchers, maybe. Who are these guys Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Uh-huh. Uh, six feet down under? <laughs> Uh, oh, that's all right. I can turn things around. <laughs> sure. You can just drop it. I don't know if I would need that plank for anything. I think I should carry it with me just in case. I better get up there. I'll, I'll bring it with me because why the hell not? <laughs> Looks important. <laughs> What's this? There's a turtle! Oh, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a... Uh... Tortoise, it's a thing with a shell. <laughs> well, isn't that something? Turtle. Actually, pretty cute. No. Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Ooh. Oh, this ought to be good. Uh, the first two sound awesome. Let's do... Oh, those are both great. Turt, Turt Reynolds, Reynolds will do. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. Oh, well, I can keep it. Impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Oh, I'm gonna keep it. Yay! I adopted a turtle. 
<laughs> That's cool. Okay. Yay. Okay, I don't think I can go that way, so I'm gonna go this way. I'm just gonna carry this board, just in case. Like, maybe I come across something like, oh, there's like a gap between the poles and I can't reach it. I need like a plank of wood or something. <laughs> Let's see. If that, I can just like drop it. I still run at the same speed regardless, so. Oh, got me a turret. How special. Can you climb with this? Uh, oh, there's a beer can again. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Mm-hmm. Uh... Why do you think they'd be up here? The hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Maybe they fucked with it because I got rid of their... What do you call it? I just tried their, um, boombox. Long drop. Uh oh. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Oops. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm. How adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. That's encouraging. It's like a breadcrumb trail of beer cans. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Do they mess with anything? I'll look around. Uh-huh. Inspect. Okay, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Oh. And what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? <laughs> I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. <laughs> I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. Oh, this I is getting sinister. <laughs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Mm-hmm. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can drop down there. Oh boy, was it actually them? I mean, their underwear was there. I don't know why you would... That's just, like, nasty. I like you have an infinite pair on you. Okay. Uh, nope. Yeah, there's a bread trail of... Beer cans, let's follow that. Alright, was it actually them? I don't know. I am kind of a dick for destroying their boombox. I'll, I'll give him that, though. Mm -hmm. There's two ways we can go. I'll try this one. We find a beer can, at least we know we're going the right way. Can you look at the map for a second? That's not the map. Where am I? Oh, I'm pretty high up. Hmm. Another long drop. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. Mm-hmm. Well, this goes back to my lookout tower, so I think that's what she was telling us to do. There's a backpack there. Uh, you, you want to climb that one, buddy? There you go. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Sure. Oh. 
Uh, Brian Goodwin? Oh. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Oh. Neato. See? Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Oh. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, near lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. <laughs> you know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Oh. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Mm -hmm. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try Thank not to you. Try to anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Sure. So I did say it was C to take a picture. Thin column of smoke. Uh, oh. Oh, it's limited? Can I, like, zoom? Ugh. Interesting. Yeah, it's limited. Okay, let's not waste it. Maybe if we find something extra pretty or really important, we should use it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Gosh. I'm gonna guess there's gonna be some more notes in here. Yeah, there is. Hmm. Uh, yeah, to Dave again. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel, Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself, more than usual for L.O.'s, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock ha- Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Having himself in that hammock. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. Hmm. We got another note, miss. You don't want- no, okay, I'll just take it then. Uh, there's a stone. A loose stone. It's a, it's a, it's a nice stone. Put it back. Hey, there's a claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, well, I got the lasagna. Two foxes this way. Ah, uh, this one is interesting. Uh, I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on sure. that plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Mm -hmm. Will do. All right. Looks like there's lots of places we can go, but I'm guessing we'll just, as we progress the game, we'll just explore. Oh, wow. Oh, stuck on something. Oh, I guess there was a fire here. Now all the new, new trees are growing. I feel like this is picture worthy. <laughs> you know. Like, yeah. Burned tree. Oh. Yeah. This reminds me of, of Australia. Reminds me of home. <laughs> We've certainly had our fair share of bushfires. Mm hmm. There's no wildlife, hey. though. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, 
I thought about it, and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and... I it's like okay. companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. Yeah. Oh, everything is so not fine. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. That's okay. Well, you poor bed. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to have a break from what's happened to you. What happened to you was terrible. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me? Flapjack? Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I what? really don't. I never had that. <laughs> well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Sure. <laughs> hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> uh, you had something you want to talk about. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure that's totally safe. Totally safe. Uh-huh. Do you actually want me to? That doesn't seem like a good idea. I mean, the smoke is all the way there. It's still pretty far. Uh, Alright. Um, repel, sir. Sir. Sir, I'm pressing space bar. I tried there. Oh, there it is. Got it. <laughs> yeah, what I reckon I will do is I'm gonna probably go for two hours, and then I'll have some lunch, and then I'll come back, and I'll play the rest of it. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks. That helps. Okay. West it is. Cool beans. Yeah. We'll get this video to two hours, I reckon. Yeah, there's no wildlife. I say that, but it's like, oh. The minute I'm like, oh, it's so quiet. There's no wildlife or anything. It's so peaceful. A bear is probably going to come out. You know? If this is anything like the long dark. Well. Obviously, the long dark is a survival game. I don't think this is a survival game. Oh. The music started up. That's lovely. I like this game. It's just so peaceful. Ah, I'm, I'm a fan, yeah. I'm not really one to play walking sims, you could say, but this might be an exception. Oh, this is nice. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is where the girls were. Huh? Oh, yeah. She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Oh, how old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Probably devastating. Oh, put that away. Let's speak to her. Yeah, devastating. Devastating? Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. 
I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Oh. That's not an easy thing to talk about, but I think it's good that he's talking about it. Yeah. I mean, there's no trace of the girls. Good. Uh, I think we're supposed to be going south, so it looks like we're doing just fine. Yeah. Oh, bring back the music, please. It was so cool. Yeah, I think maybe we're starting to loop back to the tower. Oh, what was that? Hang on. Did you see something that you wanted to examine? It might have just been the smoke. Hello? Maybe there's something here? Secrets? I don't know, there's there many secrets in this game? There probably is. Not entirely sure. I wonder if we'll eventually meet uh, Delilah. There you go. Oh, it's windy. It's getting windy. It's just like real life. It's been so windy where I live. It was terrible. I barely slept. And I'm still really tired. Oh. Oh, the lighting is getting really pretty. And then again, this whole game is just so pretty. All right. How are we doing? Yeah, we're still going south. Um, maybe I should look at the map. A source of the smoke. I guess we need to actually <laughs> look for it. Oh god, hopefully the smoke isn't from, like, the lookout tower on fire or something. Oh, she would have noticed. You guys really need to change this, though. This is naughty. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I, I did the same thing. Hang on. Um, exit. <laughs> the same thing as I did last time. Oh, hey. Oh, why can't I move? Oh god, I can see inside myself. Hello? I'm actually stuck at the moment. Did I glitch the game? Uh, I think I may have glitched the game. I hope this game auto saves a lot because, uh oh. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna have to reload the game if you just give me a hot second. Okay, we're good. Whew. That's lucky. I was able to just save the game where I was and load it up, so we're all good. Three. Four. We can count. Dandy knows how to count. Copy that info. Missing person? Uh, Mitch Michaels, age 31? Okay. General info. Mitch Michaels was, a lo was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th. 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He's not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location. Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July, July 3rd, 1981. Vehicle info. Loon White Montana license plate. La la la. If you have seen slash contacted them or have more info, please contact Shoshone National Forest Dispatch. Okay. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Oh. Hmm. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. I mean, I do that. And there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former. <laughs> well, I 
I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. <laughs> Come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! <laughs> So, isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't no. do myself. <laughs> well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, so, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. Uh, he was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And. You got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Huh. Uh, it's pretty lush down here. It is this summer. There's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I did not know that. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Sure, there's something in this tree. It's a really nice waterfall. Oh, this here. music. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. What is this? It's a scrap uh, of fabric. There's some it's floating. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, the cans are here. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Okay. Ladies! Do you have any more electronics I can throw into a river or a lake? Uh, map. No, map. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I just have to look around this area. Oh, I think she did say something about following this stream. Let's do that then. Okay. Um, uh, well, I mean, this is probably the end of the stream. Does it keep going this way? Oh, test two. You should take a picture of the waterfall. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> That's a sizzler. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know. It's like, should I should I save my pictures? I don't know. Can you like turn it around to take a, a selfie? I should try that. Hang on. No, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Just do like a <laughs> cute Asian pose. Here we go. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. What a job this is, these damn teens. <laughs> uh, teen zone? I Excuse me. entered the teen zone. <laughs> oh, really? And where's that? Oh, it is still my sheets. Of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here, at their camp. You bitches. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... That's just not very nice. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. <laughs> There's some dedication. Mm-hmm. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. I'm not gonna take these. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh. Uh-oh. You said there was a. You said note. Note. Um. Oh, dear psycho. I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving, and we're going to find the police or whatever, and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake, and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. I didn't destroy all your stuff. I picked up the trash and threw your boombox away. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Uh, someone else did this, didn't they? You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Oh. I think this might have been someone else. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? 
the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Um... Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Uh, no, it was just the stereo. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest. Well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really <laughs> wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh my god. Someone else is out here. Yeah. That's not good. Alright, so... You might want to keep working on that. <laughs> hey, Henry? Yeah? Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> uh, like a Bert Ronalds, a uh, Ronalds. <laughs> um, if Tom, mm, let's go with Bert Reynolds. Well, I get confused for Bert Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. <laughs> huh. Hey, you asked. She doesn't seem impressed. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a Turn. white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh what? My God, you are the whitest. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, clothes? I mean, I do try to look uh, nice. I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I have for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Uh, I think he does have a beard, doesn't he? A pretty thick beard. Oh. Yeah, he does. You always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? That's corny. Is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Oh, brown. Steely, happy, tired. I am tired. Let's say happy. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. <laughs> you gotta show me the picture later. <laughs> uh, safe for later. You can, you can put it back. I saw the fireworks were here. You wanna continue boarding up the the windows? Looks like you got your sheets back. I also realized that I put like the turtle back in my pocket. Um, I'm hoping we can put them back down. You gotta put them back? N no, I don't know if I've got like an inventory. Uh, I don't think I can continue boarding this up, can I? Alright, uh, what am I doing? Find boards downstairs to patch the window. You got it. I actually can't run at the moment. Oh, the pretty lighting is back. I wonder if I should stream the long dark. Hmm. Uh, this one? Uh, get a couple more? Oh. 
Uh, spigot. Sure. <laughs> Cistern. Any more bits of wood? There we go. Okay, board up the broken window. Easy enough. Oh, no, there's another one. Get more. You might need an extra. Safe and secure. Uh, this one. You just did that without any nails, huh? That's that's cool. The force holds it together. I got right. the window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? You well, tell me. You've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September first and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh. Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh I'll give it to you. Uh ready to work. Uh yeah, I I want to do stuff. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Mhm. Mm of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. <laughs> Not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Do you want me to actually just take a seat? Okay, the days are moving along. Makes me wonder if I would do something like this. Yeah, look at that sun. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Damn. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh-oh. That was definitely them. One of them was called... Chelsea. Uh, yeah. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Oh my god. I mean, we we saw we need to tell them. I, Just do it. I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry. Thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, if, if they could be dead, then we better just tell them the truth. Yeah. I mean, we did just destroy a boombox. That was it. Henry, Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Coming. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. That's me. <laughs> Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Why are you talking like that? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. You don't sound good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Oh. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Oh, I just realized we were speaking to... Julia, not not Delilah. I was getting confused. Like, why does she sound different? It was the wife. Not my mistake. Oh, 
hike north to retrieve supplies. Asked to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. That's fair. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Whoa. Well, prunes make you regular, <laughs> probably. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had a prune. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Yeah, so we... oopsies. Uh, I'm okay. I am. Good. I'm glad. Uh, oh. Look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. <laughs> He's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> Then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Oh, boy. Oh. That's, that's rough. That's a pretty bad breakup. Oh, dear. You two. Uh, at least you're talking about it, right? That's, that's good to kind of let it all out. This is so sad, though. Hmm. I mean, I don't even want to imagine what it's like losing a sibling. I, can't, I don't want to ever think about it. Mm -mm. I guess something happened to my brother. I don't think I would ever be the same again. Alright, uh, this looks like it. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. What's the code? Is it seriously exactly the same? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> One more. You guys need to come up with better codes. Ew. Food for other lookout. Uh, okay. Spruce. Well, I'm two forks. Um. I'm not supposed to take the other stuff, right? All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Mm -hmm. Who do you think I am? Okay. Oh my God, the days are just going by. Okay. I, m I imagine it would have been some consequences if I took everyone else's shit. That'd be terrible. Ooh. Yeah, got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call Jeez. it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny, or something practical, or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Oh. Um. <laughs> I like the flapjack fire. So, no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. 
Oh. So there's this creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is. What's that? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, oh, yeah. I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Oh. Me too. Good. You too. Talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. It has actually. Man. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Oh, don't leave us hanging, game. <laughs> oh, You're going oh. fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I have to eat. <laughs> Uh, okay. I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think oh, crap. sometimes it riles up the wildlife. You want me to go bear hunting? Uh... Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Uh -huh. oh, come on, you just have to look for tracks, that's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, 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 why is this? This is here. Why is this here? The, why, why is this here? You can save it for later. And the fireworks are back. Why is the fireworks back? Um. Eh? Why are these back? That's concerning. I'm pretty sure I took those before, didn't I? Now there's new ones? Unless we, we brought them there for fun. Though that would be very irresponsible of us if we took some fireworks and then set them off ourselves. That's what... That's bad. Mm, don't do that. Now I'm concerned there's a bear. No. Huh. Clipboard? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. You're kidding. Someone's Henry. spying on us. I'm worried. What the hell? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, I wish. but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that. <laughs> That's the radio. <gasps> oh my... Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. 
punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. I mean, that seems... Uh... Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. I need you to believe me. Okay, okay I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were, so... What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. <sighs> I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. I'll try not to. I also won't destroy any more boom boxes. I'm hiking through the canyon. Which way is my best bet for getting to Wapiti Meadow? It looks like you can find a trail on the north shore of Jonesy Lake towards the west. Thanks, D. Thank you. Oh, that's so creepy. Someone's been spying on us this whole time. Maybe we can get, like, a picture of them. I think that's why I need the camera, for evidence. My god, getting hit in the head, like that scared the shit out of me. I didn't know that game was, this game was gonna be like that. Maybe it's like, oh, like a really subtle, like, horror game. You know? Oh god, don't do that. How did you relax? <laughs> Alright. How are we doing? Alright, whoop, whoop, whoopity, whoopity. Uh, can you just- Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Uh, that- that's good. I need to put that away. Um... Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really, or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. Keep your radio close to you. Um... Uh... I'd be worried. Ugh. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Uh... I don't know. Taya. Maybe that one. intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. What are okay. Uh, I think I've already uh, looked at that. Nothing for me to grab. No, okay. Oh, I've already forgotten my instructions. Uh, okay. There I am. That's Jonesy. Um. Supply drop. You can zoom in, right? Oh, did I? Uh oh. Huh. Did I just go around in a circle and I can go the wrong way? I don't know. I need to follow the the creek, though. Okay. Uh, follow, follow the creek, I think. Oh god, that, that zoom in is a bit much. Okay. Um. I think maybe I went the wrong way. Yeah. 
I might, I might be slightly dumb. I think I did go the wrong way. I think I'm supposed to... Oh, but that's... Mm, or maybe I have to go around because there's only one way to get in there. I don't know. Oh, whatever. I'll figure it out. Oh, I don't think I've actually opened this one. No, I haven't. God. I think I found where I was supposed to be going and I went completely the wrong way. Oops. Oh, I, why do I always not input the last one? That is just naughty. It won't let me <laughs> go back after his escape. And then do it again. Daddy naughty. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I think I got where I'm supposed to be going. I just went completely the wrong way. Uh, oh, open it. Look at this stuff. Another note? Oh, Ron. Got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionals is Italian. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, you can keep it. Uh, get the map info. Thank you. Anything else? There's a book. Cool. Mm-hmm. You can, you can drop it. An old sweater, some food. I don't think there's anything else. Alright. I think we're going up this way. Also notice that there's, like, some wet stuff on the ground. I don't think it's snowing. I think I'm going over here. The lake it was just there. They did mention that, oh, the meadows isn't that far away. And I'm like, I just walked somewhere completely different. Whoopsie doodle. All right. Uh, rocks. Let's have a look. I think we were supposed to be going north. Yeah, got it. Okay. Back on track. That's good. Yeah, I went completely the wrong direction. Whoopsie doodle. Ah. Fenced area. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I oh, you could climb that. Get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. Wait, what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Get through the fence. Okay. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Uh-huh. Maybe we throw a rock at it. Uh, drop it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> shove, okay. shove, shove. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If okay. If you haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay. Uh, look for controlled burns south of Ruby River. I mean, I've seen trees that were burnt. Um... Ruby... River... <laughs> uh, okay... Oh, there. Oh, my lordy. Okay. Um, medicine wheel? Sure. I guess they're going... Okay. Ruby River, then. Um, okay, back we go. <sighs> we'll make our way there. It's almost time for me to stop recording and get me some lunch, because I am hungry. But let's just make sure we're um, on track. And we're going the right way. Don't want to start off the next video lost. <laughs> if I do make another, do make two videos, I don't know.
<clears throat> yes, I'm seeing these like little flurries in the air. Is that does it snow here? All right, so take out the map, sir. Um, so I guess we're going southeast for the most part. All right. I don't know if there's another way I could go this way. Yeah, I think we have to like rely on the map a bit more. This time around, there's definitely a path. That's good. Yeah, I need to rely on the map a bit more rather than using Delilah, because she usually tells us like, oh, go this way, go this way. What was that? Did I just hear something weird? Or was that just the, the game being... Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I can hear like a radio or something. That's weird. All right, yeah, this is definitely the right way. Okay, let's follow this path for a little bit. Oh man, this is such an interesting game. I wish I played it sooner. Yeah, I really, really like it so far. I think we need more games like this, to be honest. Something that's just super chill. That uh, you can put the stuff away. Let's start running. Uh, east of the lake? I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The I south got that. camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? <laughs> uh-huh. Keep talking to us, though. We like to talk to you. That's for damn sure. Map. All right. Um, I think I'm going more to the east. Uh, what the hell is this medicine wheel thing? Hmm. Yes, yeah, scout cap. I mean, it's really like right down there. Um. I wish I could remember all the dialogue she just said. Look for the control bird south of Ruby River, because it looks like we could go through. Go back to Two Forks Lookout and then just go south. I wonder if there's another way we could go. Maybe through like the medicine wheel. Yeah, uh, uh, east, I guess. Yeah. Maybe? Hey, look, look again. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll try this way. If it's, if it's wrong, then <laughs> there'll be a cut right here. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Hmm. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned? Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Ryan is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hmm, something tells me he's not all right. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Mm-hmm. All right, I think we're on track. It looks like uh, where we're going is just, yeah, there's a path through there, and then we're at Ruby River. And there's another cache, too. I just realized the caches actually do appear on the map, so... Maybe it would be a good idea to pick them all up, get a bit of lore. Unfortunately, friends, I need to get some lunch. We're going to take a little break right here. As I've said before, I don't know if I'm going to make this one gigantic video or maybe I'll do it in two parts. I haven't quite decided yet, but if I do decide to make this into two videos, I better do an outro just in case. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. This is a really nice change of pace. Um, I've been playing a lot of games that are just so long 
and difficult and I just like, uh, I just wanted to mix it up a little bit and just, you know, freshen it up a little bit and I think, I think that's, that's a good idea and I do have a lot more games that I would really love to play too that are also short and sweet so, yeah, but yeah we can tackle those sometime in the future so time for a little break friends so thank you guys so much for watching please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video i really appreciate the support i'm on a few different social media platforms the links are in the description below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video